friend named John, who taught me a lot. Whenever John wants me to get a point, he always poses it in the form of a question. The reason for this, I later found out, is that questions stimulate reflection. They really make us think. Whereas if he was to just suggest something to me or tell me something, he'd probably know I might want to challenge him just to prove him wrong, just to be debatable. So one day, he said to me, hey, Caesar, come here, let me ask you a question. All my close friends call me Caesar, by the way. Mm -hmm. So he said, Caesar, what if you stumble upon a treasure chest? Would you open it? The duh. I looked at John as if he had two heads. Of course, I, he said, okay. But after seeing the various array of wealth it contained, would you honestly believe that it's yours? I said, John, come on, man. Of course I'm a believer's mind. I opened it. He said, not so fast. What if I told you that you do, in fact, already possess such a treasure buried right here in your chest? He was tapping my chest like this. It's in the form of a gift, he said. Now, if you knew this, would you open that? And after seeing the vast array of wealth contained there, would you honestly believe that it's yours? I'm not gonna lie, I was taken aback. I had to think about that for a second. Madam Toastmaster, my fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, today, I'd like to emulate my friend John and ask you all a question. How do you know what your gift is? Because trust me, the three last words of that question is the truth of your life. Your gift is. Meaning, it's literally a reality here, now. It's present. Isn't it ironic that we also call the gift a present? That's exactly what it is when we present our gift to the world. So right now, I wanna share how we can discover our gift and though it may be inconspicuous, how it is always shouting at us to listen. There's three points you need to be mindful of. Number one, your gift is something most of the time that comes naturally to you. There's no strength. You just do it effortlessly. Such as I can stand up here and talk to y'all for the rest of the day as if you had nothing better. <laughs> Secondly, your environment is always talking to you. Not necessarily people talking to you, but you always seem to be pulled or drawn to certain places and certain things. Things are always jumping out to you, talking to you. And lastly, your gift is not for you. It's for the world. You may benefit from your gift, but only when you share it. Now, every so often, I have people in my world ask me, hey, Cecil, how's your speaking going? And by the way, what's up with those motivational little video clips you was putting on Facebook? And I'll say something like, oh, I'm taking a break. Or, I'm working on something right now. And without fail, the next comment is always, always, man, don't stop speaking whatever you do. That's your lane. It's your gift. We easily can see other people's gift but we somehow fail to acknowledge our own treasure chest. And many times, because it may be something that comes naturally to us, others might be impressed by it, but we're not. So we can't actually believe it's a gift. And that's what my friend John was trying to show me about my own gift. If I find a treasure, yeah, I'll open it. And yeah, I probably believe it was mine. We always believe in things outside of ourselves. So why don't we believe in the treasures that we have inside? So the first step is to see your gift, though it may be inconspicuous. And then the next step is to believe it. Believe in the treasure you have inside of you, just like everybody else does. So now I ask you, what, how do you know what your gift is? Well, what comes naturally? What is your environment always trying to tell you? Pay close attention to these things. 
I'm 47 years young. And my experiences has led me to one divine truth. You are your own savior. The great metaphysician Neville Goddard said that man's faith in God is measured by his confidence in himself. The creator has already put everything inside, even himself. So nothing outside you can save you. It is within that you have to look if you're searching for something. You know, I tap into something that I call a voice within. Then I was moved to write a book about it. And this is what I constantly always speak about. Once in a while, I'll admit I get tired of speaking about it. But then a strange thing always happens. People never get tired of listening to it. No matter how much it's the same message over and over, it's the power of the content that they feel. It's the power of your truth that they will feel when you discover your gift. So I challenge all of you, look for what comes naturally to you. And I challenge you to listen to what your environment is inconspicuously saying. And lastly, know that you must share it in order, in order to benefit from it. If you successfully employ these three points and you see your gift, no matter how little you may think it is, believe in it totally and never look back. You won't be disappointed. So what do we learn about the treasure chest? We learn that the only treasure is right buried in your chest. Thank you.